The Olympics open doors for competitors across the world, but all of that competition doesn't come without some hurdles. I'm Abby Dodge with KSHP 41 News. I talked to a local swimmer about how her age and a recent diagnosis isn't stopping her from competing. Right now, Paris is home to some of the fastest swimmers, and Kansas City is home to some medal winners in the 70 to 74 age group. I said, great swim, and she goes, hey, I'm standing up, and I finished. I mean, so it's there's a lot of humor, um, even though people are really competitive. 71-year-old Pam Hamilton just got back from the Pan American Games in Cleveland. She brought home gold, silver, and bronze. A sense of accomplishment is really powerful. Um, realizing that you're courageous, uh, realizing that you can overcome obstacles. And Pam was faced with a big one last year. Dr. John Lee treated Pam at St. Luke's after she fainted twice in 10 minutes. No dizziness or lightheadedness right now? Not right now. He diagnosed Pam with vasovagal syncope, which is a medical term for reflex fainting. It's fairly common, but tough to overcome for someone still competing at 71. And I would like to think that I don't get psyched up at this age, but you do. I mean, there's just a nervous kind of energy, adrenaline's pumping. Come on, go! And I'd hate to give up swimming. Like, I just would not like that at all. Dr. Lee isn't making Pam hang up her suit, but they're proceeding with caution. While young eyes are on the Olympics, Pam hopes older generations are inspired by her story. We're aging, but I think we can age well. But it, it does take some work. Coming home with some new hardware. Abby Dodge, KSHB 41 News.